by it, and there's a video of the actual crash. Don't listen to him. He's just trying to scare you. So uh, we're up on the uh, on the Bruce Peninsula right now. Uh, that's uh, Jeff and myself. Um, just talking about doing something a little more long term with videos, but that's yet to come here. Um, you probably haven't seen any videos from me for quite some time. I've had a disaster with one of my uh, with my external hard drive, and I've pretty well lost everything I've ever done. So this will be the first the first new video since that disastrous time period. Uh, we're heading up to check out a, a, a cave that we discovered a little while back, and we didn't have adequate lighting, so we're going up to see now if it's actually worth you know spending a little time you know further exploring, digging in deeper, see what the possible leads in that area are. And then we're going to head up to another area of the Bruce. I don't know if I should mention the name of it yet. Um, and we're going to look for some uh, interesting sea caves. So uh, without much further uh, next footage you'll see will probably be a little bit of underground stuff. No doubt. Let's see how pure the, the rock and water is. You can see your joints, the natural joints of the area. Way off. Very scenic location. Just beautiful. Hear it all thunder rumbling in the off in the distance there. Did you say we're due for a storm? Love a huge thick layer of rock. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for caves. Big, thick, continuous layer. There's our destination. We suspect some caves in this cliff face. Jeff just shot it out that there's something just up there, some kind of sea cave. Um, let's have a look here. Oh yeah, looks promising. So this is a sea cave, usually follows joints into the rock, seldom goes too deep. Um, sometimes it's been formed from solution from deeper in. It's quite scenic, I must admit. Not the usual kind of cave we're looking for, but I guess this is very much like the Bruce Caves and uh, possibly like Rover's Cave and a little bit like Greek's Caves but of course this is not visited nearly as, as frequently Now that there's a beautiful breeze blowing through it really is quite spectacular up here Yeah, okay, I'm coming up Just the colour of the rock, I love it really speckled with lichen up here. Lichen obviously is eroding the rock, corroding it along with the water, more acidic the water, the more easily corroded the rock is. Dollar stone not quite as easily in the way as the limestone. Here's uh, one of the upper entrances to this large sea cave. You notice up the cliff all these little cedars. You go, oh those are probably seedlings, um, but absolutely not. Some of them are several thousand years old amongst the oldest plants in existence. This is an example of one of the truly ancient cedars. It's here up on the uh, shoreline. Absolutely ancient. It'd be beaten by weather, stunted, bonsai, growing in poor weather, poor uh, soil conditions. And uh, who knows how old this one is. It's massive and it's contorted. This is just an awesome sized sea cave. Absolutely massive. You have to go in, and you can see the storms rolling in now, getting lightning bursting on the horizon on a very regular, pretty regular. But just a, the colors are amazing. Lovely cool breeze. And you can see Jeff right there, and here's our sea cave. Let's go in and have a look. dry under our ledge. Another use for a cave, keeping people dry. Pretty stormy now.
to leave we're at the end park it our car is just uh stuff ahead there we're soaked